Hello, Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be working on a no-stamping project using He's the Man Designer Series Paper, the Specialty Designer Series Paper, along with the All That Dies that coordinates with the um, stamp set in this suite. Let me show you the coordinating stamp set if I can get it. It is He's All That, but we're not going to be using this stamp set today. We're just going to be using the Designer Series Paper and the Dies. This is going to be a really quick video. I prepped everything already, but before we get into our video, our project rather, <laughs> let's go over the buzzworthy business of the day. We have our Sweet Sunflowers Paper Pumpkin Kit. You have until August 10th to get this particular paper pumpkin kit, which is a nine card kit that comes with two stamping spots, as well as a gift of eight gold foil honey comb sheets. Okay, there is a link in the description box below for you to subscribe to get this particular paper pumpkin kit. Next up, we are still running our celebration promotion, which is when you can shop and earn free products at two different levels. Level one is when you spend $50, you can choose certain um, products for free. And level two is when you spend $100, you can get other products for free. And then if you host a workshop and your sales or your order is $300 or more, you can um, qualify to get the host only perfect pomegranate stamp set for absolutely free. Or you can choose to join Stamp It Up and be a part of Honey Bee Stamping Hive as a team member. And your kit will cost you $99 plus tax. And in your kit, you get to choose $125 of whatever you want from Stamp It Up besides um, celebration items. So you're getting, what, $26 more than what you're paying. And then they're going to throw in a Making Plans collection, which is a planner with all of its insides, three notebooks, and a stamp set, okay? That is one great deal, and it's all going to ship to you for free. So if you're going to spend $99, I think you should think about joining Stamp It Up and my team's Honey Bee Stamping Hive. I would love to have you. Lastly, we have our August host code. This is the code I would like for you to use whenever you are placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, do not use this host code because you will qualify for Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free products from Stamp It Up. And we don't want you to miss out on any of that. Okay, that is all of the buzzworthy business for today. So let's go ahead and get started. We have here a card base of five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and this is Early Espresso. We have some Sahara Sand. This is cut at five and a quarter by four, and then some, um, what is this called? The Soft Succulent, and it is cut at five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Then we have some of the Designer Series paper. This is cut at, oop, um, let me see one and a quarter by five that looks like one inch i didn't cut that at one and a quarter that's one inch by five this is um two and a half by two and seven eighths and then we have two and a half by two and uh, from the designer series paper we also have this little punch out because one of the sheets in this designer series paper pack is just like um punch outs then we have some what is this? Crushed curry. Oh my goodness. This is cut out using one of the dies. Let me show you which one I used. So I used this one here. Then we also have one cut out in the um, Early Espresso that I've already run through the embossing machine on some adhesive sheet to make a sticker out of it. So it'll be easy to stick it down. So let's go ahead and get started and start gluing everything together so I can show you how this card is gonna come together really quick and easy. I got these uh, cutting dimensions from um, Too Cool Stamping. I'm not sure what the person's name is. That's the her website. I don't remember the name. But I think she used it to um, like create three cards because you can stack all the papers, do the uh, stack cut and shuffle <laughs> which is a good way to get some cards made but I only needed one card so I just wait a minute I think I'm putting this on wrong 
whoops, I think it's this way, yeah. So, um, yeah, I only needed one card, so I'm just doing it. I just cut all the pieces to the desired size. I'm gonna try to line this up with that one. We're lining it up from side to side with this one and top to bottom with this one. Well, not really top to bottom, but the bottoms. Okay, have that on there. Now we're gonna put this onto our Sahara sand layer. I like to get these corners. As you see, my DSP was coming up because I didn't get it quite in the corner. I'm gonna just layer this in. It's just gonna have a small border of that Sahara sand. Then we're gonna put this on our card base. This is a really quick and easy card and if you want, you can do some stamping. You don't have to, um, should I do it this way? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it this way. <laughs> Just to make mine a little different than what she had um, put together. Okay, so then we are gonna take our sticker here I think this is what I had in mind. I'm not sure now. Okay, no, this is gonna go here. And this is gonna go down here, like that, like so. So do I wanna put that flat and pop this up? Or pop the entire, I think I'm gonna put this flat. I think, I think, I think. I just wanna pop up the sentiment. And that will Get this portion done quickly and we don't need the glue anymore so we're going to go ahead and peel off the backing of this put this right here at the bottom i'm putting the two points right in the middle of that okay let's get our scrap pieces off our desk it's sticky and let's get some dimensionals, some stamping dimensionals. We're gonna use the black ones since this is a dark colored image on the top. I guess it doesn't matter because the back is white. These are my edges because I'm out of the black ones on this sheet, but I use up all of the edges because they are just as good as the center. Oh, I thought I had a bigger piece there. Let's go ahead and put that right in the center. Okay. We're going to get this on and then we can add our embellishments. Yeah, I used the um, Baby Boss to die cut my two um, die cuts there. Come on, come off. There we go. The Baby Boss is <laughs> my nickname for the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So we're gonna put this right here in the middle. Oh, that is not the middle. You know what I'm gonna do? So I can see, because I can't see when I'm holding it with my hands. Can we get this straight? Eh. Gonna have to do, isn't it? Okay, so now let's get our embellishments and I am gonna be using the, um, not the brush brass, but what are the other ones that come in this suite? Where are they, where are they? Here they are. These are called the Rustic Metallic Adhesive Back Dot. So, see I put, he's the man suite. So I don't know what it coordinated with. These are a little bit more rustic looking hence the name so we're going to put a couple of these on our card whoops come on i don't want you down there seems it wants to do whatever it wants to do i'm going to put a few of these on here
get these on. You see, I'm putting them right on these little circles. I don't know why. It doesn't have to be like that. And I need one more. One, I think I'm going to do a small one. And I want to put it here or maybe here. I'll do it here. Yeah. There we go. There we have it. And that is our card done. Isn't it cute? I can do something for the inside later. I'm probably going to do Sahara sand on the inside. That way you can stamp right on that because that's a light enough cover color. So we won't have any white. But I love this. This is so cute. Okay, you guys, that is all I have for you today. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.